Hello, it's Jay here again. Welcome to another tutorial. So in this lesson, we're going to work on the OnGUI function for the Choose Characters script. So let's dive straight in and we'll come into the OnGUI function. And we'll begin with gui.drawTexture. We'll open and close brackets. We'll close that line off. Inside the brackets, we'll put of type new rect. We'll open and close brackets again. We'll come inside those new set of brackets. And we're going to begin with 0, 0, 0. And we're going to say screen.width, comma, screen.height. And I'm going to say divided by 10 because this text is going to be displayed across the top of the screen here. And as always, you may need to adjust this value to suit your own project, but this, I feel, is a good starting value. Now we'll come in between these closed brackets and we'll say comma, and we want the select character text background and we always draw our GUI back to front so we'll begin with the actual text background and we'll break this up for commenting so I'm going to enter here before the zeros and after and let's enter after the comma here We'll put this straight into the comments, so we'll say draw GUI texture. We'll come to the next line. At this position, the next line by these dimensions. And the final line we'll just say and then draw this texture and we'll come below here and what we can do is copy this block and we'll paste it in so now we're going to draw the foreground and we're actually going to change some of this so I'm going to enter here and I'm going to break up the two zeros. And I'm going to change this comment to position Y. And then we'll define the actual Z position here. And we're going to say screen dot width divided by two. We're going to say minus, and I'll put this in brackets. And what we want is the foreground text width divided by 2. And we'll put this into the comments. So we'll say at this position Z. So this just defines where we're going to start drawing the texture. So we're going to start at half the screen width. So in the middle of the screen, minus half the actual foreground text width. So it'll bump it back by half the actual texture and that way it should appear absolutely spot on in the middle of the screen. So we now need to change the sizing. So we'll change this to foreground text width by the foreground text height. And we'll just bring the comments back into line. We need to change what texture it's drawing. So we'll select underscore select character text foreground. And that's that block completed. So let's continue on. And again, we're going to copy this block. So the one we've just actually altered. And 
let's have a look what we need to change. So most of this can remain the same. And we'll change what it's drawing to select character text. And I think that's all we need to actually change on that one. So let's paste in again and let's go through what we need to actually change here. So we're going to draw an arrow to the left and to the right of what we've already drawn here. So let's come to this first line and what we're going to do is say screen width plus half the foreground text width so we're going to start drawing somewhere around here because as I said the foreground text is only coming up halfway because we're actually being drawn plumb center so it all halfway this way halfway that way so we need to plus half the text width and let's have a look. I think we can leave it at that. And let's change this to arrow size. And we'll just copy and paste that in. Because the dimensions are the same for the height and the width. And we'll say select character arrow right. So we'll bring that back in line. And in, in fact, I'm going to copy this block now. And I'm actually going to paste it in above. I'm going to put the left one coming first. It doesn't really matter in this case, but that's what I want. So we'll put that back to minus. And we also want to say minus the arrow size. And let's just break this up for commenting. We'll, um, we'll enter there actually. Let's cut and paste this comment. And let's paste it in below. And let's alter the comments so they make sense. So at this position, Z, um, let's just change that. We'll get rid of the Z at this position. We'll say plus. this size on the Z. You can wear that any way you like. I'll leave that to, as it is for now and we'll just change this to select character arrow left. So let's have a look. Let's save that off and we'll come to the choose character scene. So let's assign some textures. So We'll begin arrow right, arrow left, the text foreground, background, and the select character text. So let's hit play and see how that looks. And as you can see, everything looks absolutely fine. Now, of course, this GUI is fairly basic. Um, I'm just using this for the purposes of YouTube. I would, wouldn't would use this GUI in a proper project, but for the purposes of YouTube and um, demonstration, it should do absolutely fine. But I do encourage you to spend some more time than I was able to and really make your GUI look good. And of course, you can always layer more effects on top. Just remember you need to draw back to front so you know if you wanted an outline for your text you know that could go behind in between the text foreground and the actual text itself but um, 
I hope this gives you a starting position to go on and really develop your GUI to really make it look good and of course if you want me to go over anything or show anything within this series please leave a comment below or send me a private message and I'll be happy to add it into this series so, but I think we'll leave it here for this video so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now